channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'll be doing the May unboxing of the BoxyCharm or what I received in it. So this is what the box looks like for those of you who may not be subscribed to it. And then you just open it and you'll have a little card and the cards will tell you how much the products in it cost and I'll be letting you know that as well. So first in our box what we have I'll look into these first. This is from the brand Baddington and this is a powder and contour brush set. That's the powder. And I guess you could use these brushes for whatever you want to. And those retail for $95. Next, what we have is a Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. And this is a called Luminous, and it is a bronzer. It's cute packaging. And it has a little heart on this side where you open it. This is what the inside of that looks like. I love how these smell. They always smell so good. It smells like cocoa or something. Sparkle or glitter in it. It's got gold reflex. So that's not a matte bronzer like I usually use. We'll have to see how that works. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil is 30. Next there's a Tarte Best Bud Sugar Rush lip balm in here. And I love lip balms. It's a cute packaging. It's very cute. Oh, it has a little rose on top of it. It's very cute. I'll go ahead and put a little bit of that on now. Oh, I like that. Feels very moisturizing. The Tarte Sugar Lip Balm is $12. Next, we have the Ke Kevin a coin mascara. This is called the Expert Mascara. This is what that looks like. Let's see what the brush looks like. Okay. So this is what the brush looks like. It does the cost of the Kevin a coin mascara is $29. Next we have the Kat Von D Inkwell liner. It's called Dark Wave. Oh, I love the packaging. I'll try to do an eye look that's very simple, and I'll try this liner. Now, I'm not very good at doing eyeliner. Yes, it's definitely going to be a blue. It's a beautiful color. So, we'll try that. Next, there's a Milk Makeup. This is a Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. The cost of this $15. So let's try out the product. So I'm trying to do all BoxyCharm products today, including products I have received in other BoxyCharm packages. So the products I'm going to be using today, I didn't have any foundations to um, try today. Um, I guess I will, I don't like to use the same products in my videos, but since I'm making this an all BoxyCharm video products that I've received, not only in this box, but any of the boxes I've received for various months, I'll go in with the Tarte Base Tape, and this is a hydrating primer, so I'll just put that in a few areas. I believe this smells kind of like coconut. I do not have a foundation that I could use um, from boxes I've received. So I'm just, this will be my product that I use, that I'll be using without it and the brushes. But this is the Hourglass foundation stick. And this is the color Nude. I like this foundation, but I feel like it's a little drying, so it is good to put like a moisturizer or something underneath it. 
So we'll just go in with this. And I'll just go on with my Morphe JH03 brush and just blend that out. And this foundation is buildable, so you can build it up if you'd like for more coverage and okay for powder I'm going to be going in with the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder I've never used this before I don't remember what month I got this so I'll go in with the brush that I received today, Baddington one, and we'll just set that. And we'll just set our foundation. It seems to be an okay powder. It just appears to um, maybe show up a little bit of some dry patches you may have, which that's a lot of powders will do that. But other than that, it's good. Pow it's a good powder and it smells good. I'll go on with this Baddington. They called it a bronzer brush. I wouldn't necessarily use it for bronzing, but I am today. So I'm going to see how that works. I'm going with the Chocolate Gold Too Faced the Luminous Bronzer and I'm going to see how this works like bronzers with um, highlights in them. Yeah, I wouldn't use this as a bronzer brush. I mean, you can make it work, but I love more like the rounded edges, like the R2 from the Morphe. So I'll just highlight, I'll just bronze up here a little bit. I think in the summertime this probably would look very beautiful. And we're coming up on the summertime. So maybe. I don't think it's a bad idea. So I know this product, I wouldn't normally use a bronzer that has highlights in it or glitter in it, but I do think this one is beautiful. Let me do that so you can actually see it. It is very beautiful. I do like it. I think it's a good product. I'm actually impressed with that, which I always love Too Faced bronzers. Beautiful color. And I think it does work well. So next, what I'm going to go in with this is the Fenty um, eyeshadow palette I received in my box. It was either last month or the month before that. Very beautiful. It's got very beautiful colors in it. Okay, so since we're going to be using that blue eyeliner... I'm just going to be doing a very simple look today on my eyes. So first I'm just going to go in with this color right here. And that is called Shisha Smoke, I believe. I have to be careful just to keep this very simple with that blue eyeliner. And I believe this eyeshadow palette retails for $29. Which, and I think that's a very great price. You get 16 shadows. And I'm also going to just put a little bit of that color. going to put it under my under eyes as well.
So since I'm going to keep my eye look very simple, it's actually the only eyeshadow I'm going with today. Next, I'll attempt to use this eyeliner. It says you have to shake it real good. Now, I'm not the best at applying eyeliner, so it won't even really do a wing. This is a very beautiful color. So what could be for some people a very good thing, for some people is this eyeliner. It's very shocking how fast it dries down. It'd be good, you know, so it doesn't smear or anything. But it does dry down very fast. I do love Kat Von D's products. So you do have to work with it very quickly. So next for blush, this is something I received in one of my BoxyCharm boxes as well. This is the Show Me Your Cheeks blush. This is a color soft pink. I'm going to start off trying to use this, but a lot of times I don't get any color payoff with it. But let me see if with this foundation if it does. No, I'm not seeing, well, maybe a little. Yeah, it's showing up some. We'll just put that on both sides. It's showing up some. And this looks fine on top of the bronzer as well. Okay, so next, let's go in with the Kevina coin, and I could be saying his name wrong, the Expert Mascara, and this color is black. So this mascara reminds me a lot of another mascara that I just did in my, I just used in my last video. It doesn't thicken your eyelashes much, but it does make them very black. Um, perhaps this one thickens barely more than the other one, but not much at all. But this one does appear to lengthen. I do love this brush. It does work very well. So, this Milk Makeup, the Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. I could have went in with that on my cheeks for blush, but I decided not to. I want to just stick with something, um, since we already had the bronzer, since we already had the bronzer that was luminous under it, and it wasn't a cream product, it's a powder product, I decided to just, I decided to not use it for my cheeks, but I will try it for my lips. So it has a little cap on it you have to take off, a little plastic cap. It's a very beautiful color. And this retails for 15 It's a very beautiful color. It doesn't really go with the eye look I have on today, but it's a beautiful color. It will go with a lot of other eye looks. And the last product I'll be going in with the highlighter, and I love this product. This is the Trophy Wife color, and it is a gold. It's very beautiful. I love this highlighter. And this product I received in my BoxyCharm. It was in the BoxyCharm Premium, I believe, box. 
we received about five or six full size products from the Fenty line. So my thoughts on these products today were they're very good products. Um, probably my favorite is still going to be my this Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter. I just love that product. But for my favorite product from this month, I'll have to say it's probably a tie in between the Too Faced Bronzer and this Butter Balm. I just love Butter Balms and this one worked very well. So I'll say those are my favorite products from this month. I also love receiving brushes as well and I do think these were good brushes would I ever pay $95 for two brushes no I would not but they are very nice brushes um, they did work very well I was actually surprised at um, how well this one did work as using a bronzer brush because I don't ever use rounded brushes to apply bronzer but I do like these brushes very much. I'm glad I received them in this box. So my thoughts on this month's box are I think it's a very good box. And there are a lot of products in it that I loved. The set that I got was the 45. And I should be receiving my BoxyCharm base box very soon. I'll also do a tutorial on those products for you as well. And maybe use some of the other products I haven't reviewed yet from my other BoxyCharm boxes I've received. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have tried any of these products, please let me know. If you're Also, if you're a BoxyCharm subscriber, please let me know your thoughts. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Until next time, bye-bye.